Before we get started, anyone interested in ordering Mr. Lindell's four CD set, go to metaphysicalarttheater.com. For those in the U.S., you can order physical copies or the digital downloads. For those outside the U.S., you can order the digital downloads by going to metaphysicalarttheater.com. How are you doing, sir? Oh, just fine. Thank you. And how are you? I'm doing outstanding. Today, uh, I want to talk about um, how this stuff works. You know, we talk about the manifestation law of attraction, law of assumption. Let's just talk about how this stuff works as you think you are. Let's get into it. Okay. Well, first of all, I, I'm, I'm not interested in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in what you're thinking right now. See, because it's right now that you're thinking that you're building your future. Isn't that the idea? It is. Oh, well, there you are. See, so if you're in control of that, you're in control. And that's what you're told. You're, you're told to claim, claim what it is you are to be, to do, to have. That's it. You, you have to claim it. And, and, and to be claiming, you have to be in that mood of, of, of taking in. Look, you're told you receive not because you ask not. Now, that sounds simple enough, <laughs> doesn't it? It does. You receive not because you ask not. Well, ask. But it doesn't say come whining and crying, does it? No. It says ask. You don't, you don't have to whine and cry about that. Just ask. Thank you, Father. That's all Jesus would say. You know, thank you. Father. But he did, he did make a prayer at times, but that was for those who were around him yeah. to get the idea of, of what they were. See, what we don't understand is, is that there's a message within the message. Yeah. And, and it's the essence of that message. That's what you want to know. And that's, that's not secular history. It's divine history. It's, it's all, it's right here, right now. If it was true, then it's true now, right? That's true. <clears throat> what, what, what else have we got to look for? Yeah. What's, what's the ax? You say ax because a lot of people are confused with axing. So what is the ax? Well, I don't know. It, it's the same thing as if you went to a restaurant and sit down and you'd say, what do you want? He'd hand you a menu and you'd look at it and say, I want that. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing you do here. You do that exact same thing. He's telling you, choose this day. Okay, you are doing so. See, that, 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 that kind of escapes people. You actually are choosing every moment of time in thought, in feeling, and that's what you're experiencing. And if you want it changed, you have to change the thinking ahead of the evidence. Correct? That's correct. That's correct. Good explanation, and that was a good uh, way to explain it, the menu uh, example, because we are choosing. And I think a lot of people don't realize that they, in fact, are choosing morning, noon, and night. You're on all the time. Yeah. See, that, that, that's the problem, because you're not paying attention all the time. So that when you're not paying attention, what is it you're thinking about? You don't know, because you're not paying attention. <laughs> and what has your attention? as your life. So if, if, if you can understand that, what has your attention as your life right now, I have your attention. So I have your life. See? And, and I'm, I'm trying to help you live it like you really want to, not like you feel you have to, because you got sucked up in the drama. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what happens to all of us. Unless, unless you stop for a moment. And really consider what we're telling you. Because all we're telling you is, is that you have a valid say. You're about saying your valid say. Saying what? See, that's it. If you can answer that, then you know where you're going, what you're doing, and what you can expect. And that's what you get, what you expect, right? Absolutely. You know, I like that you said that uh, not, you know, you have what it is that you know, not what other people have dictated to you, but begin saying what it is that you want. And I think most people believe that they have what they have 
because you know of the world without in the 3D. Well, <clears throat> you're told that it is an in as within as so without drama. So whatever you're doing in here, that's what you'll be doing out there. And make no mistake about it, because subconscious mind won't make a mistake about it. It'll make your world according to as you think you are. And, and that's every word, because and, 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 and we're told very plainly that every word must be taken into account. There it is, isn't it? It is. Every word. Yeah. You know, come on. Attitude, awareness, and imaginational control. If you get these two working for you, you'll just kind of stroll through. But you have, you have a good example. Jesus told you very plainly that as you think, you are. What are you thinking? See, like I said, I'm, I'm not interested in what you're doing right now, but what are you thinking? Because that's your future, isn't it? It is. It is. And I like that you put the focus on, you know, you said, listen, I'm not interested in what you're doing, but what are you giving your attention to? What are you thinking? Because that's what you're creating moment by moment. And I want the listeners to really get what it is that they're thinking about. A lot of times they're looking at the drama around them and they're wondering why they keep reproducing the drama around them. Well, <clears throat> first of all, the hunger must come upon you to know first person, meaning no more just hearsay. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with hearsay. I'm just saying that's not enough. That, that keeps you tied to, to the play. But you're able to think outside of the drama man, outside of the play. And that's what you're given to do. Dream the dream. Isn't that it? That is it. Dream the dream, isn't it? I mean, come on. That, that's what you're, if you're not dreaming the dream, well, then what are you doing? And I like that. I like that you tell them to dream the dream. Now, the listener is probably going to say, what dream exactly? What is it that you want? That's the dream that you're to be dreaming. Yes. Yes. Why, why would you dream anything else if you don't want it? Why, why would you dream it? Yeah. See, you get caught up. In, 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 it's, it's habitual. Yeah. You see, th then you become habitual to think only the things that are nonsense, that are not what you want, but you are thinking on them. And, and that thinking on them is creating them because subconscious mind is never going to question you as to the model you're sending in. And that model is what you're working to experience in your world of experiencing, isn't it? It is. It is. You know, you use the term habitual, and um, the professions have a name for that habitualness. It's called, we have addictions to these things, these ways of thinking. We're addicted even sometimes to our drama. That's right. That's, everybody's addicted to something. Yeah. I mean, because look, we're told that none are worthy. Yeah. You see, so there, there's a hurdle you can jump over real easy. Because you're told that none are worthy. Well, then what is it? It's willingness. Yeah. Well, that's it. The hunger comes upon you to know, and then it, it becomes a it becomes a passion for you to know, and 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 it's all, it's out there. It's, I, I hear it. I hear it. I know it's out there. So you can't deny that it, it is out there. But do you really experience it? in its fullness, a little bit maybe, but in its fullness is what is being offered. There's so much more being offered than we're taking advantage of because we're not willing to sit in the silence and be still and know that I am God with you always, will never leave you, omnipresence. What more do you need to know to actually contact He's, he's telling you, you turn to me, I'll turn to you, isn't it? Absolutely. So what do you say to those folks that say, you know, listen, I don't want all the religious stuff. I just want to know how to use these principles to manifest a better job, manifest more money, a better relationship. What do you say to those folks? Okay, I think exactly as you think you are. Do you think you have these things? then you have them. If you think you don't have these things, then you don't have them. 
Your say is a valid say. Get on board with the idea that your say is valid and then shut up for a while and just listen to what you're thinking and you'll know what you're doing, where you're going, what you're being. You're a thinking, feeling being, whether you claim to be religious or not. Right? I love it. You know, I, I like that you say, listen, just keep quiet for a moment and just monitor what it is that you're saying to yourself because, see, that's the telltale. Whatever it is that we're saying, that's what we're experiencing. That's it. That's it. That's it. You're setting yourself up or you're setting yourself free. Just, just think about what you're thinking about and see which is happening. Are you setting yourself up? Because if you're thinking on a negative, that's setting yourself up. Because you're giving your energy to the negative side of choosing. But it's you doing it. So that means you can stop it. Yeah. I mean, you can choose your next thought, can't you? Can you really? Can you choose the next thought you're going to think? If you can, here's a suggestion. Don't stop. Don't stop. If you choose it, you have it. If you don't choose it, you don't got it. <laughs> How many ways can you say it? Well, you've answered it. You know, that's the wonderful thing. You have answered it. And in answering it, you say, listen, what are you experiencing? You're either setting yourself up or you're setting yourself free. Answer the question, what are you experiencing? And you can know what you're choosing. Yes, you can choose better. You can dream the dream better. Understand, we're told that this is a shadow world. Understand shadow. It's a virtual reality. It isn't reality, but a virtual reality. In other words, everything here goes away. And everything here was first only imagined. Now, I, I imagine in this room here, there's a thousand objects but every one of them still had to be imagined to be here Isn't that right it is right but see we've been taught just the opposite you're saying that this is the shadow and mind thinking is real but we have been i mean my whole life you know stop fantasizing stop daydreaming stop doing this stop doing and get real and come back to reality this thing that we call reality but you're saying that reality is the shadow so i'm kind of confused what's the real well actually in reality nothing changes here everything changes so this is not reality this is the dream and we are dreaming aware or unaware but we are dreaming but dreaming what have you chosen the dream or are you just taking whatever's being thrown at you by the, your environment, by other people, by their opinions? See, no, I don't give opinions here because it, 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 this is not my place to give my opinions. I have opinions, yeah, but, you know, but, but th this is not the place. When I'm sharing with you what was shared with me, first, by the hearing of the ear from without, I heard about it. And that's and knowing about it was enough for me at the time because I'd say, well, I know about it. But you see, th that's not enough. You have to know from it. You have to begin to think from it. I am that. No, not not don't judge by appearances. You see, we're told not to judge by appearances because th th then you just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. And th that's what happens even if you die. Nothing transforming in death, so you just keep repeating. You die a ding dong, you get to play ding dong again. <laughs> it's that simple. And and and, and think about this. I, I applaud those people who are going to college when they're in their 80 years old. I, I applaud them. Hey, you know, because look, you're told there's nothing transforming in death. So any any gain you make here, you take that with you. But you also take the losses with you. 
So just see that you got more gains than losses. <laughs> Actually, it is that simple, isn't it? It is that simple. You know, I like that you said, listen, early on, when I first heard it, it was from the hearing of the ear. So somebody said something to me and you said that was enough. But then you started to grow into this stuff and you wanted to begin to experience it first person. Yes, that, that's what it is. See, this is all the first person. There's, there's, there's only one. There's only God. That's it. He's all things to all. He's everything to you that you think you are and think you ain't, whatever. <laughs> but he tells you, hey, I suffer with you, but you behold me not. See, now, now, now consider that. He's allowing you to choose your future. And if you don't like it, well, he probably don't like it either, but. But he's not going. He's not going to complain about it because he set the whole thing in motion, and he knows that this is just a dream, and that you will eventually wake up from the dream. Because right now, actually, we are the Walking Dead. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if we're dead to the idea of who we really are, well, he tells you, "I'm with you always. I will never leave. Never leave you." He's with you always. Isn't isn't that mortality? It is immortality, isn't it? It is. I, I, well, I mean, if he's going to be with me always, I'm always going to be around. But doing what? You want to just repeat this life that you've had over again yeah. and again and again, <laughs> because there, there's no end to that. Because nothing changes until you change your mind, and your mind's running the whole show. That is, if if ego is <laughs> doesn't have a big part to play in it, but ego does have a part to play, but not running the show. Now, I mean that you want to be you want to really be close minded about that. You don't want ego running the show because he he doesn't really care what happens. He don't want you to die because then, then he loses host. But, <laughs> but but he doesn't care what what you suffer, and and that's the point. You're suffering, God is suffering because He suffers with you, though you behold Him not. So, think about it. Really, really, really think about it. it. It's, it's, it's all right here. All of it's right here. All you have to do is dredge it up. Yeah. Think only on things that are lovely and of good report. You get that? Think only yeah. on things lovely and of good report. And as you think you are, that's what it says. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, so does he, so has he. There, you're, you're in charge, take charge. I'm telling you, this, what's blowing me away still, and I'm speaking on the behalf of the audience, that you're saying that this stuff is just a dream. So if it's a dream, dream bigger, better, more, better than the best you know should be the way that we're dreaming. But we don't think that it's an option. So like I said, I still haven't settled with the ideal that this is a dream that I can control. I still think there's forces on the outside of me that are in control. So how do I get in control of the dream that you say that we're dreaming? You take control. That's that's it. It's as simple as that. You take control. If you're taking control of your thinking, that's what you're here to do. You're here to control what you think about, because that's what you're going to experience. And if you don't want to experience it, then don't think about it. It's 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 actually that simple. Because you know, once you start thinking about something in the negative, it starts drawing to it other negatives that are in sync with that one. And so you all you're doing is, is you're just expanding your world of trouble. And if you want, you like trouble, fine, you can, you can do that easy. <laughs> but actually it's, it's just a reverse of thinking, isn't it? It is. It is. And you thought this way, try it this way, see what happens. Yeah. All, you know, you're the only one who needs to know what you're thinking and feeling about because you're the ones going to experience it. And everybody's going to see what you're experiencing so they'll know what you were thinking. 
And why don't you? You know, what's the biggest business in the world is advertising, isn't it? It is. And, and what are they doing? They're trying to get your attention. Because that's that's profitable to them to have your attention. Why isn't it profitable for you to have your attention? Hmm. Uh, wouldn't you say? I would say that's a pretty deep question. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the thing of it is, you can answer these questions, but it, do you do it honestly? Yeah. You see, I, I I used to fool myself. I I I'd, I'd sit until I dreamed up a. a, a a believable excuse or justification or reason. Uh, and then I tried to peddle it. <laughs> We're so clever. We're so clever at setting ourselves up that we don't catch ourselves <laughs> because we ain't paying attention. Yeah. And that's what you really got to do. Because again and again, I repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. What has your attention has your life. So if you're choosing what has your attention, then you know what you're going to do, be doing. And you know how you're going to be treated by the world around you. Because do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah. That's, that's all you have to do. It's really laid out simple, isn't it? It is. You know, somebody had reached out to me recently and they said, well, I'm having trouble focusing. Can you give me some tools to focus better? And... What are the tools for focusing better? Choosing. I mean, what 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 would work? What would work better than choosing? <laughs> so choosing is the tool, you know, because a lot yes. of times we listen to Neville, we listen to all these great teachers, and of course, Neville gives you hundreds, if not thousands, of tools. And sometimes we get bombarded in the tools, and we don't simply, as you just stated, make a decision or choose better. Yeah, it, actually, that's all there is to it. You are choosing. You see, you, you're told, choose this day. You are doing so, mm -hmm. aware or unaware. All we're trying to do is to get you to be aware of what you're choosing so you know what you're doing, what you're being, what you're having. Attitude, attitude, attitude. It's all about attitude. Awareness. That's what you want to be aware of what you're thinking feelingly about. Because if you're thinking about something, you know, we're told not to imagine mischievous imaginings. Yeah. And understand mischievous imaginings. Why, why would you do that? If not, it'll wind up something you don't want yeah. to have, but then, then all you'll do is complain about it. And then you get complaining on top of that. You, 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 can, you can really screw yourself up really easily. It is no problem about it, but you can free yourself easily if you'll just listen to what we're saying, that you have a valid say, you're saying your valid say, and your world of experiencing always goes along with what you're saying. If, you, if you're just going along with what's going on, and that's okay with you, fine. But if you don't want to choose it, then you lose it. Is that it? That is it. So in not choosing, what we're in essence doing is giving our power away. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I mean I've mean, i heard Mr. Carlo say that over and over and over. And I don't know what kind of response he gets when and when he says it. But the point is, is that he keeps saying it and keeps saying it because it's important for you to know it's your responsibility for you. It, you're told, work out your own salvation. And the way you work out your salvation is you sit down in the silence and you begin to think about these things that we're telling you about, that you're on all the time and that every word is taken to make up your world of experiencing. And that's what you are experiencing. You're every word. If you don't align them with your dreams and missions, then they'll be whatever you're thinking about, right? Absolutely. I like that you said that because... You said the word, of course, that nobody wants to hear is responsibility. And I think about, you know, somebody recently, they had wrote a post in the group and they wanted to make more money. But the reason why they wanted to make more money is because they wanted to leave out of their parents' home, you know. And but once you make the decision to leave your parents' home and you're 
resolute about making that decision, things are going to start lining up in your reality to create that new reality. Would you agree? Yeah. Now, stop thinking about getting the money to get out. You see, that'll come naturally once you've decided you're out. Gotcha. See, you you got to you got to keep you got to keep the horse before the cart backwards. You see, that's it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was just thinking. You know how you see the cars on TV when they're going on, and the wheels are always going the wrong way. Yeah. They're they're spinning backwards instead of forwards. But now someone's made the ones that when you stop, they, they keep spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, you're in charge, even if you're out of charge. You are asking, believing, receiving. But what are you receiving? Because that's what you're believing, what you're receiving. Because subconscious doesn't make a mistake because subconscious doesn't care. Yeah. It, it, ha it has, has no, no, no call on this at all. As you think you are, that's what you are going to experience. That's what we are experiencing. You're looking out into the world. Or every, everything everything, had to first only be imagined. If the, all of these thousands of objects always all had to be imagined, then imagine something and become rich. Well, isn't that what all these people did? Absolutely. That's exactly I mean, right. that's what they made it. They said, hey, there, there's a need for that. So if there's a need for that, well, let's make up something that, that, that'll take care of that need. Absolutely. And, and they do it and boom. See? And that's what we're doing. We're taking care of a need. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't pay as well, though. <laughs> <laughs> but you're absolutely right. That is the pathway for the person, even the student that wants to get out of her parents' home, you take care of a need. It may be that you go to McDonald's and take care of that need. You may get online and take care of that need. Once you take care of a need, money, all the money that you can handle, all the money that you can want is going to start coming to you once you begin to take care of that need. So I appreciate that you put that out there. It is right with you. Yeah. You see... It, it doesn't even have to be coming to you. It is right with you. Yeah. And you're told that you receive not because you ask not. Now, now th that sounds simple to correct. And, and actually, it really is. But what, what are you asking? That's the question. And, and, and how are you asking it? Yeah. You have to remember who you're asking. God. This, this is God you're talking to, the, the one who created you, who, who made you perfect, and, and, and you spoiled it, and now you're complaining. And all you do when you complain is get more to complain about. Yeah. And that, that's exactly where we're all at. You find yourself complaining, and, and you got more to complain about, and so you get, then you complain more, and then you get more to complain about. And have, there's no end to it. The guy says, well, there's no end to it. What, what, yeah, that's right. It's not, you, keep, you keep supplying the, the 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 materials out of your own mouth that you're facing and then you're complaining about it which gets you more to complain about absolutely <laughs> yeah. hey i went through this first person all, all the complaining about and, and and all it did was it was awash with other things to complain about but you can stop it all you're given stop at all as you think you are you stop thinking it you'll stop experiencing it but as long as you're thinking it you'll be experiencing it lifetime after lifetime because nothing changes until you change your mind so why not get to it yeah. i mean what are you waiting for yeah. yeah you know i like that you were talking about even about complaining because the source of many of us, the reason why we are where we are, is not because of the outward circumstances, but because what you say all the time, our attitude, we're complaining. So the person that's in their parents' house, you know, instead of practicing gratitude of being where they're at at that moment, knowing that they're being taken care of and so forth, 
they're finding reasons to complain about being in their parents' house. So the only thing that you can discover about complaining about being in your parents' house is more things to complain about, about being in your parents' house. But wait till you get out on your own. One day you're going to look back and appreciate have been in your parents' house. You know, but when you're not there, when you realize how much work and responsibility there comes with not being in your parents' home, there's a whole new mindset. And many times you find many of these young folks going back to their parents' home.